Hello everybody and welcome to our third chapter where we're going to start to dive deep into our Monday Dev product um, and we're going to start with the roadmap board. So let's open Monday.com and jump right in. So I'm going to start with this board and this is where we said the project manager will collect requirements from all over the business and this is where we can manage our epics. So every Monday.com board is divided into groups and items. And then all the items have columns, okay, which is the data points that we want to collect for each of the epics. Um, here we have every group would be a quarter, um, except for the bottom group would be our backlog right here. Okay. If we want to add a new epic, we can simply add it using this, or we can also click here and add the new epic. Um, if you want to rearrange, we can also uh, drag and drop and change the order of the different epics. Once we have a new e epic added, we can now start adding information. Um, so you can see that the epic owner is automatically assigned to myself since I created it. This is using our amazing automation to help you reduce manual work on things that can happen automatically. And we're going to review them uh, very soon. Um, so I'm assigned here. We can add, we have a text column, a long text column to add some description if we, if we would like. Um, we can give it a planned timeline. So this is using a timeline column. Um, we can give it a priority using a status column and a status. Um, and also here we have an indication on the selected quarter that this is being part of. Um, and we have a link to the tasks on the sprint board. So this is to increase visibility between the dev teams and the product team and to link between different tasks and the epics. We can use uh, a connect boards column um, to link between the roadmap board and the sprints board. Okay, and then we can link the tasks to each of the epics. Um, so I will talk more about this column very soon, um, but I want to show you some incredible automations that we have on this board. So um, in order to reduce manual work, and you will see this coming up um, in, in other boards as well, we have uh, our amazing automations. And what they do is we can create different recipes that help us uh, with a trigger that does an action and help make things happen automatically, okay? So for example, uh, we have an automation to say that when an item is created, when an epic is created, automatically assign the owner as the, the user that created it. Okay. Um, we also have an automation on this board so that uh, if I have an epic on the backlog that I want to move to the current quarter, which is going to be my top group, I can just change the status to this queue and it's automatically going to move to the top group right here. Okay, um, where can we see these automations? So if we go here to the automation center, uh, we can see all the automations that we have set up on this board. Um, if you go here, you can see all of our recipes and you can also make your own. Okay, so we have pre-made recipes. Um, and again, it's all based on a trigger and an action. And we have different categories here that you can uh, search by. You can also create custom automations. Okay, so let's take a look at an example of what we, we have already. Uh, we can map the trigger. So we can say when a, an item, which is the epic on our board, is created, then uh, we can assign, um, assign someone as an assignee or set a status to something or maybe notify someone. Okay, so we can really create our own building blocks and actions. Um, the possibilities here are endless. So feel free to go in and explore um, and see what you can do with the money.com automations. Let's talk about um, the link to the sprint board. So what we're using here is a connect boards column. So if, uh, if I go here, you can see that I can add a new column and this is a connect boards column. We have many, many different types of columns that you can use. So again, feel free to explore this. Um, if you go more columns, you go to our column center and you can see a lot of things that are going on in here. Um, what we added is a connect boards column and we linked this column to the uh, sprint, uh, sprint management board Okay, so now if I have an epic and I have tasks on the sprint management board, I can go here and select the relevant tasks to assign to this specific epic. Okay, um, I can also, if I click here, use our 
uh, epic overview item card where I have a description of the epic that I can see, I can see the timeline and more information. This is all taken from the columns on my board and here I also have a, a link to the tasks. So if I want to add tasks to a specific sprint directly from here, I can also use it the, uh, this specific uh, item card to do it. Um, Let's say that you want to add more status labels, for example, or maybe your terminology is different. So instead of working on it, you want to call it in progress, feel free to go in and update. OK, um, what if you want to add more columns to this board? Feel free to click on the plus and then see what other columns we have to offer um, and what other data points you can uh, you can collect regarding your epics. Now, let's go here, for example. Um, and let's go back to our connect boards to the tasks. Um, what we did is we also created mirror columns to show us information directly from the tasks board. Okay, so we ha actually have um, some information that is pulling directly from the, the tasks that are managed on the sprints. So we can see their status um, and we can see their actual story points and estimated story points. Okay, uh, we did that using a mirror column. OK, so we added a new column and we chose the mirror type um, and you can see that it is linked to the connect boards column and we can uh, choose here what columns we want to mirror from the sprint board. OK, um, so we added a few mirror columns to show us the information on the tasks on this board. Um, so this is extremely helpful to have that visibility between product teams and development teams. So I don't have to go to the individual tasks to see the progress. I can look at the epic that is connected to the different tasks and, you know, uh, uh, with one look, I can see there's the status of the task regarding this epic. I can see the actual effort, the estimated effort that's put on here, and that would help me prioritize my epics, etc. Um, another thing that I want to show you is our Monday.com views. Okay, um, so board views are just a way for us to see this information maybe a bit differently. OK, so for example, um, here on the roadmap, we want to see the epics on a Gantt. So what we did is we've created a Gantt view. And if I click here, I can see uh, all of my epics on a Gantt according to their timeline. I, we've grouped it by the groups um, and then we can see all the epics in their timeline. You can go uh, to every view and click on the settings and customize it even further. Um, and the views are a really good way to help us visualize our data in a different way that is maybe more convenient for this specifically. So this was our roadmap board um, and on the next chapter we're going to dive into the sprint management board um, and talk about how we manage tasks and sprints with the Monday dev product. So see you soon. Mm -hmm.